This is a dial indicator and it has a magnet on the bottom so that you can mount it to something and then different levers here so you can adjust it forward, backward, up, down and then it has a plunger type thing right here and it doesn't really matter where you start on this plunger thing and I have a ring gear here to show you, this is an old one just to kind of show you how this works but um, you can push the plunger in as far as you need to then just walk it up to and place it where you want it to go and then you can just reset the the whole thing to zero from wherever it was so for example now the gauge is back at zero and the plunger is touching here and it also comes out the back so now when you move the gear back and forth you can tell how far it's moving okay so we're going to use this to measure backlash um, but that's basically how a dial indicator works you just set it up and set it to zero and then when you move it back and forth you'll be able to tell how much it's moving okay, this is a digital caliper and so what it does is it measures kind of the spacing you can use it to measure the spacing of your shims um, and see if I can get one of these going for you basically all you do is just pinch it and then you can measure the spacing of that shim how how thick it is and then with the shims what you're doing is you're adding these ones these are the carrier shims and you're adding them to each side of the carrier depending on if you have too much or too little backlash so for example if you rock the ring gear back and forth when it's all together and there's too much backlash then you're going to remove the shims okay you can remove some of the smaller shims from the passenger side and add them to the driver side and what that's doing in essence is moving the whole ring gear since it's attached to the carrier over and so as you're moving it over it puts more pressure against the pinion gear okay so for example we have a pinion and a ring gear here and so if you were going to add shims to the far side of that ring gear, which would be the driver's side, what that would be doing is moving the pinion and the ring gear closer together. So that's why you're going to decrease the backlash by adding to the driver's side. And so you do the opposite. You would add shims to the passenger side, which would be, in a way, kind of pulling the ring gear away from the pinion and making it a little bit more loose. So that's kind of the idea of uh, adding and subtracting the shims.